Hi everyone, this is Arad from English for Everyone. Today in this short video we're going to talk about an English saying, let's say a proverb, but well, I man, I can't say it's saying, because it's, it, 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 you know, the, the proverbs and idioms, we do not mean the words that we say, but this saying is exactly what we say, <laughs> and we mean the same thing, and that is, there is no place like home. There is no place like home. This is said when one feels, maybe when one feels homesick, uh, feels misses home, or mainly when someone comes back home after a travel, after a party, a, I don't know, something like that. You've been away for some time. If someone has been away from home for some time, and comes back home, might just sigh this and say, wow, oh, there is no place like home, <laughs> something like this, okay? And uh, so that is mainly when you've been away from home for a period of time, either you've been abroad or you've been uh, in a different city, in staying with a friend or I don't know, whatever. You haven't been home for a period of time, short or long. And then when you come back home, you might say this, you might see people say this at these times or when you have been away from home for a period of time or you are still away and you feel you miss your your own room, your own home, your own neighborhood then you might say this. So there is nothing hidden in this or something that well, let's say we mean something different from place when different uh, from this when we say place. No, we really mean place and we really mean home. So everything is exactly what the words suggest. So that is not complicated or different from what the appearance, okay? So let's then move on to the examples. That's very simple this one today. Okay, I enjoy living abroad but it's not for everyone and I know there is no place like home. So someone, the speaker of the sentence says, uh, likes to live abroad, okay? but also knows that this is not what everyone prefers or what everyone likes and also adds this bit to the end that this is what I enjoy or we enjoy but finally there is no place like home abroad wherever it is is different from your home your own home or hometown maybe but we mainly when we say home we mean the really the building the home but yeah you might mean your hometown your city or maybe your country but mainly home is exactly home where you're when you have privacy okay where, where you've been raised maybe may where you have your parents maybe hmm? so that is your home so uh, now let's look at the second one I know it's dangerous to travel to university every week and I can stay at university dorm but you know there is no place like home so the person takes you know takes this knows that this is dangerous to travel to university every week to go and come back and has the uh, the option to stay at university dorm or dormitory full form, this is the short form of dormitory, but comes back home and the reason to do that, to go through this dangerous thing and uh, not using that option, is that he or she feels that there is no place like home. So the person prefers to travel, to be on the way, puts, let some time go just to be on the way, but finally be at home when he, he or she wants to rest, wants to relax. So this is used in these cases. You might have the same or similar expression in your language. Would you please write that down below this video, comment it below this video so that others can see that as well. Or if you've got some examples that can complete this lesson, would you please do that? That would be Correct. Thank you for your help, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.